Hello and welcome to the Basilica Buds podcast. I'm one of your presenters, Maddie De Leon, and along with my fellow presenters, MJ Corpus and Ralph Ko, we're going to talk about the San Sebastian Basilica and its role in Filipino Catholicism and heritage. So, let's take you to church, shall we? Before we begin to get to the meat of our talk, I'll be introducing basic facts about Gothic architecture and the San Sebastian Basilica so that you all can have a better understanding of what we're talking about. Why Gothic architecture? That's where the San Sebastian is modeled after as it falls under the Neo-Gothic style where people were inspired by the Gothic style many centuries after its boom. Don't let the name fool you, it's neither grotesque nor dreary as it suggests. The word Gothic during the mid-12th century until the 16th century in Europe gives life and hope to a lot of people. This is because after the fall of the Roman Empire, Roman citizens decided to live in the countryside since they felt that they weren't safe in their city anymore. The French monarchy was in poor shape and feudal landowners exerted considerable power. In the mid-12th century, industrialization and the rise of trade brought people back to cities and this is where the Gothic style started. Gothic architecture is characterized by the following elements. Large stained glass windows, pointed arches for load-bearing and incidentally an aesthetic choice as well, ribbed vaults for structural stability, flying buttresses for even load distribution, especially for the roofs, and finally, ornate decorations, most notable of which being the gargoyles, which you might have seen or heard of, especially in notable Gothic cathedrals like Notre Dame in France. Now that you know the very basics of Gothic architecture, let's then get to the Neo-Gothic all-steel church located in Quiapo, Manila, the San Sebastian Basilica. It began construction in 1881, finished in 1891, meaning it took 10 years to build. It is run by the Order of Augustinian Recollects as a place of reverence for Our Lady of Mount Carmel. It is a minor basilica, meaning it has significance in the Catholic Church, but it is not one of the four main church buildings of the Pope. It is an all-metal church which helps it combat destruction and damage from calamities. Many international efforts were involved in its construction, with a Spanish architect, a British foreman, a Frenchman being in charge of its foundation, Belgians providing the metal as well as a Belgian engineer there to oversee the project, and Germans made the steel glass windows. It is a neo-Gothic architecture style church building and is one of the few remaining churches in the Philippines with its original interior still intact. So the information and the history is there, but we wanted to know what the people thought about it, as churches are for the people to communicate with God, right? The best way to know about a work of art is why human beings care so much about it. After all, architecture is a form of art and art is the expression of the human soul. What we did is that we surveyed 10 people asking them qualitative questions about the design of and significance of the San Sebastian Basilica in Filipino Catholicism and overall heritage. For the discussion of these questions, I now hand you over to my co-presenters MJ Corpus and Ralph Ko. Thank you for that, Maddy. Hello everyone, I am Ralph Ko, and as what Maddy said, we are here today to talk about the questions that we asked in our survey regarding the San Sebastian Basilica. The first question that we asked was, do you think that the interior and structure of San Sebastian Basilica is considered Gothic architecture? Why or why not? Based on the 10 people who answered our survey, all of them said that yes, the San Sebastian Basilica is considered as Gothic architecture mainly because of its futures. One respondent said, that the only lacking element from the church is the flying buttresses. Other than that, most of the elements and features of Gothic architecture can be seen in the San Sebastian Basilica. Its features like the large stained glass windows, pointed arches, ribbed vaults, and ornate decorations. Moreover, another respondent mentioned that it gives off the impression of Gothic architecture since the vibe of the church seems gloomy and grotesque when you look at it. With this, we can say that the San Sebastian Church is considered as a Gothic architecture. Moving on to the second question. We asked if they think that the San Sebastian Basilica is important for the Filipino Catholics. Most of the respondents said it is important mainly because it symbolizes Catholicism in the Philippines. Another respondent mentioned that since the Philippines is known as a predominantly Catholic country in Southeast Asia, 
every place of worship is considered as a piece of history and deeply connected to our culture. Moreover, they also said that the church contributes to the significance of Catholic faith of the Filipinos. It also stands as hope for Catholics especially in times of disaster. With this, we can say that San Sebastian Basilica is important for Filipino people as it not only symbolizes Catholicism in the Philippines but it also shows the rich culture and history of the country. Now, MJ is going to discuss questions 3 and 4. Thank you, Ralph. The third and fourth question aims to assess if the respondents find the San Sebastian Basilica mirroring the culture and lifestyle of Filipino Catholics and if they think it is important to preserve it. A majority of the respondents agree that the Basilica does mirror the culture and lifestyle of Filipino Catholics. The respondents cite the strong structure and its age as essentially being a reflection of Filipino resilience. Some connect the Basilica to reflect the animism and Catholicism ingrained in Filipino culture, and another agrees with the connection because the Basilica is quote-unquote memorable. There were respondents who said that they were unsure of any connection at all. Meanwhile, a small group says that there is no connection between the Basilica and Filipino Catholic culture and lifestyle. All of the respondents who disagree say that the Basilica is a foreign or Western concept. What our group can say about this is that there is some connection that Filipino Catholics feel with the structure itself. When the respondents drew from the building's actual structure to define a connection, we can determine that the Basilica's architecture reflects the values and lifestyle of Filipinos. Some are more abstract than others, drawing parallels between the structure and Filipino ideals and beliefs such as, as I mentioned earlier, animism or Catholicism itself. For the fourth question, we asked our respondents if they think that it is important to preserve the San Sebastian Basilica, and surprisingly, a lot of them agree that it is in fact important to preserve it. Some support their answer that the Basilica is a place of worship and is thus very important to Filipino Catholics, while others claim that it alone is a beautiful work of art and because it is art, it must be preserved. There were also a few who said that the Basilica is one of the few historical steel structures in the Philippines left. This uniqueness, according to them, is enough to justify the Basilica's preservation. What we can gather from the answers in the fourth question is that many of our respondents value art for its own sake. This means that Filipinos place a high degree of importance for the San Sebastian Basilica because it is a beautiful place. The other answers tell us that the Basilica possesses a unique influence on the people and place around it, either religiously or culturally. For a structure as unique as this to have this, um, there must be something about it that makes it unique. From this, we can conclude that the Basilica's beautiful architecture reflects the humanistic values of Filipino Catholics, and in the same way, they associate themselves with the structure because of its qualities, purpose, and history. Our last question is that we asked if San Sebastian should be part of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. According to NPS.gov, a World Heritage Site is a natural or cultural site that demonstrates influence or significance in a global context, i.e. has outstanding universal value, and has been inscribed on the World Heritage List by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organizations, or UNESCO's, World Heritage Committee. So, what did our respondents think? Surprisingly, all of them agreed that the San Sebastian Basilica deserves to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of many reasons, from its construction to its historical significance, as well as its breathtaking architecture. However, what stood out the most for a lot of our respondents is the fact that San Sebastian is one of the few all-steel structures in the entire world. They think that that unique quality on its own should have this church be in the running for a UNESCO World Heritage Site title. Who knows? Only time will tell. So, what do you think about the San Sebastian Basilica? Do you think it's worth preserving? Is it worthy enough to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Please leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts about this. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you for joining us here at the Basilica Buds podcast.